Hello, I'm Orhan Gaibov. You're watching Astebe News. 20 September will be celebrated at the day of the cities of Hankendi, Khojali, Khojaven, and Agdara. President Ilham Aliyev signed the order amending the order of 31st July 2023 on the establishment of city days in the liberated territories of the Republic of Azerbaijan. In this regard, the Minister of Culture, together with the relevant special representatives of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, was instructed to take the necessary measures to resolve the issues arising from this order. It should be noted that according to to the relevant order of the head of state every year in Azerbaijan. 26 August is celebrated at the day of Lashin City. 4 October is celebrated at the day of Jebrail City. 17 October as the day of Fizuli City. 20 October as the day of Zangilan City. 25 October as the day of Gubadli City. 8 November as the day of Shusha City. 20 November as the day of Agdam City. 25 November is celebrated at the day of Kalbajar City. The heads of diplomatic missions, international organizations and military attaches accredited in Azerbaijan visited Kalbajar on 18 September. The diplomats were given an overview of the major transport and infrastructure projects, the inauguration of which was presided over by President Ilham Aliyev on 2 September. The visitors also toured public catering facilities in the Kalbajar city as well as the Subovushan and Sarsang reservoirs, the Yukari Bank Hydroelectric Power Station, residential buildings currently under construction in the Kalbajar city, a secondary school the Istisu Mineral Water Plant and other locations. It should be noted that regular trips for representatives of the diplomatic corps and international organization to the liberated territories of Azerbaijan are being held. Armenia presented its proposals to Azerbaijan on the text of the peace treaty in 70 days. Hikmat Hajiv, assistant to the president, head of the Department of Foreign Policy of the presidential administration, said in an interview with media representatives. If Armenia is seriously taking the peace treaty and is interested in this issue, then responding in the course of 70 days raises questions. On the majority of articles of the peace treaty, the sides have certain agreements, but there is a lot of work ahead. This first of all has to do with the issues related to the constitution of Armenia. President Ilham Aliyev also underlined on a number of occasions that there should be no territorial claims against Azerbaijan in the constitution and other legal documents of Armenia. The security of Armenia is only possible if the peace is ensured in the region. This was stated by the Prime Minister of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan. He underlined that the CSTO poses a threat to the future existence and sovereignty of Armenia. As usually, Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan made contradictory statements. In his speech during the second Global Armenian Summit, he stated that CSTO was a threat to the security, future existence and sovereignty of Armenia. There's no country or a military bloc in the world which could ensure the security of Armenia. There's only one way to ensure its security. It is the signing of the peace treaty. If there is a peace in the region, then Armenia will be able to ensure its security by itself. If we are talking about guarantees of security, then in this case, there is only one option, and this is peace. Understanding how difficult it is, our government created this guarantee. Prime Minister Pashinyan also touched on the relations with the regional countries, saying that Armenia recognizes territorial integrity of all the countries. Pashinyan, whose words never match his actions, said that they have no territorial claims against any state. The resolution signed with Azerbaijan on demarcation of borders allows solving other issues by way of negotiations. After signing of this document, I talked to the residents of villages. What is the situation after delimitation? Answers to these questions were more satisfactory to the residents than to me. This also means that the attitude has changed. The most important reaction to what is happening was from the side of the residents of Chakaten village of Sunik district. They asked when the demarcation will take place in their area. Nikol Pashinyan also stated that they are ready to procure Azerbaijani natural gas and emphasized that Armenia will buy gas if the transit gas pipeline from Azerbaijan to Nakhchivan or Turkey will pass through Armenia. 
By the way, the official Moscow reacted to the Pashinyan statement, expressing his stance on the statement of the Prime Minister of Armenia, Pashinyan, that collective security treaty organization is a threat for Armenia. Spokesperson of Kremlin, Dmitry Peskov, said there is no threat from the side of CSTO to Armenia, saying that the official Moscow resolutely disagrees with the view of the Armenian Premier. He underlined that Russia continues and will continue its contacts with Armenia. Armenia is a close partner of Russia, the spokesperson added. The opening of the newly built Kapanek kindergarten in the Nermanov district of the capital took place. Leila Aliva, vice president of the Haider Ali Foundation, participated in the opening. Preschool education always plays a big role in the development of children. This is the main mission of the new Kapanek kindergarten to create all conditions for academic and social-emotional development of children to support their integration into the school environment. This kindergarten, along with a desire to be a safe environment for children, aims to surround them with care and love. We intend to enhance and develop the preschool educational curriculum approved by the Ministry of Education. All of our educators have undergone training and received certificates. This enables us to provide children with the highest level of assistance. This initiative will focus on the continuous professional development of the teaching staff involved in the education of children, including their participation in various training programs. Press School is committed to staying abreast of the latest developments in education, including online learning, in order to maintain the highest standards of teaching in line with the Cambridge program. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you soon.